So the year is coming to an end and you'll be having a new year. So just like each and every time before there is a new year, people make resolutions. I want to do this, I want to do that in the coming year. But my question is from everything that you made last year did you achieve anything how many things did, did you achieve because many people will be jumping up and down tonight uh, rejoicing that they're going into a new year but what did you do with this year that's the question because if you did nothing with this year and if you don't see where you went wrong that means next year will just be like this year with nothing being achieved in your life so I know people will be dancing in churches. They'll be worshiping in churches. They'll be taking alcohol in bars, in nightclubs. Thinking that when there is a new year, that means you have a new mind. So you don't go with a new mind. You go with the same mind. So what do you do? You plan for, for this year. Review your 2020 and see where you went wrong. What didn't you do right? You look at the friends that did not build you in 2020. You don't need them next year. Look at the things that you were doing in 2020 that held you back. So if you still go with your same habits in 2020, in 2021 rather, that you had in 2020, that means you won't achieve anything. Because we have people that are saying, Happy New Year, but they still have the same old habits that I've been having for so many years. So if you are to make it, that means you're supposed to make a decision to change your life because you are the driver of your life. No one drives your life for you. So you are the best investor in your own life. So God is the first investor in your life and you are the second investor in your life. So you drive your life. So if you want to destroy your life, it's up to you. But you having a new way does not mean that things will automatically change. So you'd have to make things change. Because some watch things change. Some others initiate the change. So will you be the one to initiate the change? Or will life change you? Because if you cannot change life, that means it will change you so don't just shout and uh, say happy new year happy new year happy new year plan how you're going to run your life in 2021 stop doing certain things that you were doing this year and start your life afresh and you can only do that if you have jesus in your life so he runs your life for you with him in your life you'd never go wrong so you don't need certain people next year you don't need to do certain things next year. You don't need to go to certain places next year. You can change your life. But your life changes. On how you make your decisions in life. The, the rate at which you make decisions will determine how your life changes. So your decisions create your life. If you make the bad decisions, that means you'd have a bad life. Those that are living a good life, they made good decisions. So pray to God to help you make the right decisions. Start a new year with God, not with alcohol. So how do you get into a new year drunk and you expect it to work for you? It doesn't work like that. So let us start our year with God and everything will be okay. So you can do it. But remember, your decisions create your life. So you are the greatest investor in your life, nobody else. Nobody else will come and tell you that, do this and that with your own life because they don't think about you the whole day. You think about yourself the whole day. So you should invest in your life. Invest in yourself more than you invest in others. 
because when it is all said and done they will not be there for you you'll be just left alone with you and god so invest in yourself and definitely your year will be perfect so happy new year in advance may god bless you this has been the minor lucky and i am signing out twabam